All right, well, let's see. Here I go. Like okay. five times in a row. Five go. times. Okay. Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Don. 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 Okay. I can't give away my phone number. <laughs> you sure? Okay. <laughs> Since the end of Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn in 2018, our favorite quadruplets have moved on and grown up. And like all young teenagers, the cast of NRDD have been looking for love. Well, some of them. Mace Coronel, who was actually absent from the last few episodes of the show, might only have turned 17 in March, but he certainly has the drive and work ethic of an actor twice his age. Because Mace was rumored to have left Nickelodeon under unhappy circumstances, he's been putting extra time and effort into keeping his career afloat. And all that time spent auditioning and booking gigs meant he had to put his personal life on hold for a while. That's why, as of 2021, Mace doesn't appear to be seeing anyone. If he was, he'd definitely have shared on social media, seeing as he likes to keep his 1.1 million Instagram followers updated on his day-to-day -day life. As for Mace's past girlfriends, he was briefly rumored to be involved with his NRDD co-star and on-screen sister, Lizzie Green, in 2015, but neither of them ever validated or denied it in any way. Whether or not they did really date, it still doesn't change the fact that Lizzie would be exactly Mace's type. Speaking in an interview at the 2016 Kids' Choice Awards, he gave everyone a description of his perfect girl. For a girl, definitely funny. Um, yeah, so funny, nice personality. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Seeing as he was only 11 at the time, his tastes might have refined over the years, but we're sure he'll stay true to the basics. Mace's co-star Casey Simpson was also asked about his first crush in the same interview, but we'll get to him in a moment. Lizzie Green From movies to TV to YouTube, Lizzie Green has done it all, and she only turned 18 in May. Happy Since leaving Ricky, Nicky, Dicky, and Dawn in 2018, she not only appeared in A Million Little Things on ABC, but also gained over 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> and even though fans saw her grow up right in front of their eyes, Lizzie seems to be quite private when it comes to her personal life, especially her love life. Aside from being rumored of dating Mays, fans actually suspected her of dating another one of her Nickelodeon co-stars. Ricardo Hurtado, famous for his role as Freddy on School of Rock, played Dawn's on-screen crush in season 3 of Ricky, Nicky and Dawn. And the pair shared such great chemistry, fans started to suspect they might be the real deal. The two were also seen attending various Nickelodeon events together, including the Halo Awards in 2017 and the Kids' Choice Awards press junket in 2018. But again, like the previous rumors of Lizzie dating Mace, she never confirmed or denied anything to her fans. If Lizzie's dating anyone right now, though, it's probably not Ricardo. In 2020, the actor announced his engagement on social media, which obviously takes him out of the running completely. At only 18, Lizzie still has loads of time to find the right person. Right now, she's probably just focusing on finding herself after leaving Nickelodeon and building her identity around everything she loves. When she does end up finding someone, we can only hope she feels safe and comfortable enough to share the news with her fans. Maddie Ziegler Maddie Ziegler might not have been a main character on Ricky, Nicky, Dicky, and Dawn, but being widely recognized for her time spent on Dance Mums with Jojo Siwa, many fans were surprised to see her swapping her dancing shoes for acting on Nickelodeon. If you don't recall, Maggie's RNDD character Eiffel was a popular ballet dancer and teen star of the reality show Life of Eiffel. And while she didn't exactly feature all that much, she's still listed among the most searched members of the RNDD cast, with many fans wondering about the 18-year-old's relationship status. In January 2017, Maddie officially started dating Instagram star Jack Kelly. The pair announced their relationship to the world in a since-deleted Instagram post, and throughout their relationship, they certainly didn't shy away from PDA. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here, back with another video with this guy. Me. Jack. Although it's not exactly clear when they went their separate ways, in 2018, fans started noticing their posts together disappearing. And it was only after Maddie was seen singing and dancing along to Little Mix's Shout Out to My Ex that it became clear they'd called it quits. 
fast forward to February 2021, when a giddy Maddie revealed in an interview that she and her sister Mackenzie both have boyfriends. Me and Kenzie are a little different when it comes to dating, she said. Kenzie's had so many boyfriends. For me, I'd rather be in a relationship than just dating around. Maddie is currently seeing musician Eddie Benjamin, but she is really serious about keeping their relationship away from the media. In 2019, Maddie said that after her relationship with Jack Kelly, she's never, ever going to make any relationship public again. She said that she hated having millions of people commenting on whether or not she was good enough for Jack, or if it was her fault the two of them broke up. I'm learning that I'm getting older, I'm learning, oh, it's okay to keep things more private. So much is already out there in the open that there has to be some that I want just for myself. It's more enjoyable that way. And yeah, it's more precious that way. But even though Maddie decided to keep her new boyfriend on the down low, Eddie loves to gush over his girl. When Maddie stepped in front of the camera into all the boys, P.S. I still love you, Eddie said he actually got emotional. Seeing her doing what she loved and finally showing off her talent, he couldn't be more proud. Isn't that sweet? Unfortunately though, not all the R&DD cast members had such happy endings in the love department. Stay tuned to find out what happens to Aiden Gallagher or Nikki Harper and his latest girlfriend. Casey Simpson But I think I lighten this up. Sometimes um, I get this on Instagram and it's the story of my first kiss. Well, let me tell you guys. <laughs> This is actually quite the story, let me say. Since saying goodbye to Ricky, Nicky, Dicky, and Dawn, 17-year-old Casey Simpson pretty much went on to live a normal life. Well, the normal life of a YouTube sensation of over 400,000 subscribers. You might think the smooth-talking, bright-eyed Ricky Harper couldn't possibly be single, but I'm sorry to say, it looks like he is. Casey, who is still great friends with his former on-screen brother, Mace Coronel, is relishing his teen years and doesn't seem in much of a hurry to grow up. He does yoga, makes YouTube videos, and even tried his hand at stand-up comedy. Being the youngest of the four on-screen siblings, it only makes sense that Casey isn't quite ready to brave the world of dating. At the 2016 Kids' Choice Awards, Casey talked about his character Ricky Harper liking Bella and the Bulldogs star Breck Bassinger in the Nickelodeon Ho Ho special. But when it came to how he personally felt about her, he gave the most adorable answer. Is how you feel about Breck in real life similar to your character? Well, I do love Breck in real life. I don't have a crush on her, but she is awesome and I love hanging out with her. But the interview didn't stop there. When asked about his first crush, or rather, whether he actually had one yet, Casey was quite enthusiastic about it. Speaking of crushes, your character just had a crush in Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Yeah. Have you had your first crush in real life yet? Not yet, but maybe soon. Isn't that cute? Even though 2016 Casey didn't have much going on in the love department, it seems six-year-old Casey was quite the Casanova. On his YouTube channel, Casey lets his fans in on the story of his first kiss, and apparently it was quite an interesting experience. So, you know, as my six-year-old self, there are a lot of girls that I like, you know? I'm... I love the lady. During a playdate with a girl at his house, the two of them wondered what they were going to do all day. After trying some painting and playing with the water hose in the yard, Casey came up with something else to do. I'm like, hey, so can you promise me that you won't tell anyone? But I think maybe it'd be a good idea. Somehow, someway, he persuaded the girl to kiss him and they shared the quickest peck. Casey said that even though he made her promise not to tell anyone, he literally heard her telling her friends in class the very next day. And now Casey told the entire world, so they're probably even. What did you think about Casey's first kiss story? Super cute, right? Aiden Gallagher Despite currently playing number five on the hit Netflix show, The Umbrella Academy, true R&DD fans will know Aiden Gallagher will always be the adorable little Nicky Harper. <laughs> he might still be adorable today, but he's certainly not little anymore with his 18th birthday coming up in September 2021. And despite Nikki Harper being slightly awkward and much too naive when it comes to girls, Aiden himself has been in quite a few relationships over the years. In 2016, he dated actress Madison Shipman, but their relationship only lasted until August the same year. 
In 2017, Aiden and Hannah McLeod started seeing each other. They shared quite a few adorable pictures of each other on social media. One of his comments even said that every day and night with Hannah only gets better and better, but unfortunately, most posts have been deleted when the pair broke up eight months later. Neither of them ever commented on why they broke up, but fans speculated it was probably quite harsh, seeing as they basically erased any evidence of them having been together. In 2019, there was slight speculation about Aiden having a fling with Sky Staper, a musical artist, as they were seen hanging out together a couple of times. Nothing more ever came of it, so they were most likely just really good friends. Since then, Aiden's been enjoying the single lifestyle. His social media is covered with environmental issues, and his career is doing better than ever. Pop it back. Now shift it. Shift it back. Pop your hip. Pop your back. There you go. Pop your hip. Pop your back. Now. There you go. Now pop it. Now shift. There you go. The problem is the shift. Who knows? Maybe soon he'll find someone special to write love songs about. When he does, the catcher will be the first to let you know. What do you think about the cast of R and D and their real life relationships? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.